Hey, how are we doing guys? Welcome to my Mortal Online cooking guide. I'm going to be teaching you two basic cooking recipes, which is going to be one for stamina food, one for health food. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part. But anyway, let's get on with the video. All right, so to get started with cooking, you're going to want to come over to here, to the library in Tindrum. Depending when you watch this video, it could look quite different and the NPCs could be inside the building because there's a big update coming out soon. But just find your way over to here to the library and you want to find this guy, the Tindrimic Librarian. So just click on the little search icon up here, type in cook, set filter, cooking, ten silver, buy the book. Now we're going to save a lot of time here. So what you're going to do, you're going to right click on the book and start reading it. I can't read because I'm already maxed out in it. But when it starts reading in the bottom right corner here, you're gonna have an icon pop up showing that you're reading the book. Just click on that and click cancel. Because you don't need to read it anymore. Like I'm gonna show you how to level up very, very fast. All right, so you've now got your cooking skill, but before you start leveling it up, you wanna come down here to the Tinder and Marketplace. You wanna find this guy, the gear vendor. You're gonna talk to him by a couple of campfires, just like four or five or something. Get silver in, boom, we've got them. And you want to come to this guy, the cooking vendor, you want a, where is it, a baking stone and a cooking pot. Let's so chuck some gold in, except, there we go, we now have the cooking skill, even though it's low, a baking stone, a cooking pot and a bunch of campfires. Right, let's get on to leveling it up super, super fast. Alright, so you now have your baking pot, your cooking stone, a bunch of fireplaces. So you're going to press L to bring up your skill actions. Grab gathering, drag that anywhere, I have it on zero. Jump into this fountain right here, this is in Tindrum. It's just around the corner from the bank, outside the graveyard. It's time I don't stay. Now this is going to take a while, I'm not going to lie to you. Very tedious. But you're going to put a fireplace down. And right there, I've got a fireplace down. Stand right here, and you're just going to gather water and a lot of it like, I mean, a lot of it. It's going to take a while, but this is the absolute fastest way to level up if you know. As soon as you have some water, you're going to spin around like a good four, five, six stacks. Press your cooking button, chuck it in, cook it. It's as simple as that. That'll get your cooking skill up. I'm maxed out, so you can't see my levels go up. And you're going to turn around. Now you've got like 40, 50 cooking or something. Start doing it again, grab some water, then back. Now we're gonna go water, cooking pot. And now we're gonna do that until we've got our cooking pot maxed out. And that's also gonna do cooking and cooking pot at the same time. Now for the baking stone, that's a little bit different. So with the baking stone, you have to do, let me just gather some water. Open up my horse bags a minute. Now as you can see I've got oat flour here. You can do this with normal spell. I'll show you how to get the spell later on in this stamina video. But you want to do this with 50% water and 50% spell. So just for an example, and spell and water. This is the most annoying one to get up, but it will help you in the long run. Here you go half. I know it's oat flour, but we're gonna say it's spell. So half spell. Off water, so like a stack of spell and a stack of water, baking stone in, and that's going to make us some bread. And that's how you're going to get the baking stone out. You're going to want to max out the baking stone, the cooking pot, and your cooking skill. But anyway, now we've got the basics out of the way, you've got everything leveled up. Let's get on to our first type of food. I'm going to start off with a basic health food, a basic fat food. All right, so the most basic type of fat food you can get in the game is honestly just a normal pick. It's so easy to find, it's really good food. You see it on the market all the time. But it's really, like, like I said, it's really easy to get. Bomb, that's it. So I'm just gonna butcher this up, get the meat, we'll skip that part. All right, now I've killed the pig and I've butchered it. You'll notice in the general chat you'll notice some levels going up stuff like that so that will be if you go to resource handling material law animal material flesh law that'll be your beef law going up or your pork law pigs yeah it'll be pork law sorry <laughs> um the higher level you get this the better the food's going to be you need this maxed out and if you're going to be a cook like a good cook anyway 
So now you've got your pig meat, you're literally just gonna plop, buy it down. This is the most basic food, and honestly, it's really, really good, but you can get better. Um, put your cooking pot in, put your pig meat in, boom, it is as simple as that. You now have, when you're max law, max cooking skill, max law, you have ambrosial fried pig. This is really good, cheap, easy to get fat food. Now, to get an upgraded version of this, like a really, really, really good fat food, I'm not going to show you how to get it because I want you to go explore the map. You know, I want you to go explore Nave. And um, what I'm cooking at the minute, if I can get to my donkey's bag, there it is, is Alk's meat. This is honestly the best thing I've found so far. I've got some Brazil fried Alk's right here. So if I show you the difference on the sliders, if I go to compare, go to Brazil fried pig item A, Brazil fried Alsis item B. Go to health nourishment, you can see the slider is way, way higher on B. If you look there, like way higher. But don't like, like I said, Ambrosial fried pig is very, very good, cheap food to get. You'll always see it on the market. This type of stuff, Ambrosial fried Alsis, I cook this for myself and my friends. I don't actually sell this because it's a bit of effort to go get. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you how to get it. I want you to go explore the map on, you know, your mountains or your footies, you know, go find it. Go have some fun. Play the game. <laughs> but anyway, on to a basic stamp food. All right, so our basic stamp food is going to be spelt. As you can see, I am outside Tinjurum's main gate. To get the spelt, you need to go southeast. You look on the compass here, up just to these white hills. Now, I'm not going to show you the entire ride up. I'm going to skip the travel. But yeah, we're just going a little bit southeast. We're going to go up this hill here, up the next hill, and just basically run up to these white hills. Don't go up them, just run up to them. Just go that, like, literally, literally directly southeast. All right, so we've run southeast of Tindrum. We're now here in this big open field. You can see a cave there. You shouldn't actually be able to see that because there is some bushes in front of it, but the view distance on this game isn't very good. I honestly wish to upgrade it, but it is what it is. So we need to be coming over to this um, NPC house over here where you can see the grass is getting much higher. Well, that ain't actually grass, that's spell. To get spell, it's very, very simple. You're just gonna come over to these fields let me just jump off my donkey real quick. And we're just gonna gather. You know how we got the water, and now you can see we're getting spelt. Super easy, super, super, super easy. Now, after we've got a bunch of this, like maybe a stack, maybe more, and we're gonna go back to town and we're gonna start cooking it up. Just do all of these fields, get literally as much as possible, and then ride back to town. Close this video, get it all, I'll see you in town. I'm just gonna go straight back northeast, back into Tindrum. All right, so you made it back to town with your spell. Congratulations, <laughs> you, you got it. Um, so to make a uh, easy stand food, I'm using rye here, but rye is basically the same. It's just a little tiny bit better. Just drag your rye in and cook it. This is gonna make you some okay stamina food. Like it's not gonna be that bad. Um, but honestly, the best thing to do is, I'm just going to grab 10 units here, so say you have a thousand units, you know, you just do um, 500 water. I'm doing 10 units, so I'm going to use 5 water. Go to cooking, drag your rye in, drag your water in, drag your baking stone in, and that is going to cook you some ambrosial whole rye bread. This is very... Bread's very good, but you are gonna have to get your baking stone up. That's gonna take a bit of a bit of work. It's gonna need quite a lot of spell to do that. A couple of stacks. You're gonna have to grind out for a little bit. But yeah, bread is a lot better. If we have a look at the sliders, like we did in the food. Now, how you can see, bread is about I'd say about 10% better. So it is worth doing. Um, so yeah, there is a basic type of two basic types of stamina food for you. You got your normal. Your normal stamp food and then your bread and also doing it with the baking stone it's going to be a little bit better and you're going to get more bread out of your resources because you're chucking in some water with it as well so it's definitely 100 percent worth doing so that is my beginner's guide to cooking i hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped if you have any questions 
let me know in the comments below hit that like button subscribe for more future videos on mortal online and guides on other games like like this i'll catch you in the next one guys peace out